I'm Associate Professor Mark Plummer. I'm the Head of Research and Innovation at the Royal Adelaide Hospital Intensive Care Unit and I'm a lecturer at the University of Adelaide. So one in five people worldwide will die from sepsis. It's extraordinarily common, uh, although it's not really discussed widely in, in the public. And in the intensive care unit, when we get a patient who comes in with sepsis and septic shock, this is a really serious condition. It has a very high mortality rate, even for individuals who were previously fit and well. Sepsis can occur in anybody. It can occur in people who are fit and well, but it's more common in patients who have impaired immune systems, in patients who are um, elderly, and also in neonates, so young babies. The primary treatment for sepsis is early antibiotics, so getting the antibiotics in as quickly as we can. Um, everything else that we do is largely supportive, so as the organs begin to fail, we support the heart by supporting the blood pressure and giving fluids. If the kidneys fail, we can support the kidneys and allow them time to recover, but really the primary treatment is early antibiotics and trying to drain the infection wherever it may be in the body. The next generation of treatment for sepsis, there's a, there's a whole range of studies happening worldwide, but here in Adelaide we're looking at the effect of megadoses of sodium ascorbate, which is a derivative of vitamin C, which has shown some really promising results in early animal studies. Mm -hmm.